I'm a cop, too. Uh, I like to go undercover. I'm always stuck in a van. Fontaine, you look just like a cop. That's the problem. Oh, dear. Where am I supposed to put my gun? <laughs> Listen, you guys are wired up. Go out there. Be careful. I worry. The name's Smooth. That's Silky Smooth. It's spelt like move with a sm in front of it. I'm here to talk business. You're here to talk what? What is you, ignorant business? B-I-D-N-I-S-S. -S. Look, I run a respectable escort service. I don't talk business with pimps. But it'd take a pimp to know a pimp, pimple. Look, here's my proposal. And this is my proposal. I propose you that get that. That better not be a gun you're reaching for, Tattoo. <laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna need a behind a college just to get my foot out your ass. Now, sit down. What do you want? I want a partnership. I say we unite our bitches. <laughs> now, I know you got 26, and I figure with my three, it's about a 50-50 split. I have no idea what you're talking about. Now, if you'll excuse me... Sit down, you little Ewok. <laughs> and let me tell you the caliber of hoe I'm talking about. <laughs> now, I got this one. She's Chinese and Filipino. She will walk your ass in dim sun. <laughs> Well, you know what? I'm a busy guy, so why don't you just Well, you can never be too busy for this, Smurf. I am Conchita. It's spelled cheetah with a con. Oh, you stepped on my gaiters, girl. I'm not interested. Get out. Fine. I know a taller man down the street that's interested in my wholesale. <laughs> Wait a minute, Silky. Who are you talking about? Who the pimp here? Who the pimp? Who the pimp up in here? Okay. Maybe he needs a little sample, huh? huh? You want to test drive Conchita? <laughs> Come here, you cockroach. Get up, Conchita. You giving away money. That's money out my pocket. That's a lime green jumpsuit you just giving away. All right, it's a deal. I'll take her and the other two, huh? Oh, that's what we wanted to hear, baby. Because you're under arrest. Huh? Now smile into the pimp can. <laughs> Like that, Damon. Jimmy, you should have seen me. I had Ramiti in the palm of my hand. Good for you, girl. Yeah, I'm going to tell your boyfriend on you. What was that all about? Hey, I turned the guy around. He was ready to walk. Not with the grip you had on him. <laughs> Bad news. We had to let Renuti go. What oh, what? get out of here. That was a clean bust. I know. The, the camera broke. We got nothing on tape. You got oh. me kidding me. You got me right. right. Oh, you right. Got oh, right. Hey, what is this, happy hour? <laughs> Come on now, settle down. Tomorrow, we're going to get a little visit from the Crook County psychiatrist, Dr. Helen Troy. I don't want to see that psychiatrist again. I told you, I'm not crazy anymore. Jimmy, it's not about you. He's leading a seminar on sexual harassment in the workplace. All right, I hope it's a how-to seminar. <laughs> <laughs> this is a state mandate. I don't want to be there any more than you do, but it's supposed to be entertaining. I don't know. There's a show that goes with it. Oh, really? Like a musical or something? Don't touch me there. I won't touch you here. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, little brother, what you got there? Groceries. Mm. Figured if you're gonna stay here, you might as well eat. Great, I'll take these. I rearrange your whole kitchen. I know where everything goes. <laughs> No, and I'm not gonna call her. See, it's been only five days. You never give in before the sixth day. That's a cardinal rule of marriage. That's why we lasted over ten years. <laughs> yeah, but if you subtract all the time you spent on my couch, you'd still be newlyweds. <laughs> what do you know? You're single. You've never been married. I know. I'm waiting until I completely understand the language of women before I get married. 
What are you talking about? We all speak the same. <laughs> no, we don't. Women speak a different language. They speak estrogenese. <laughs> If I'm your wife and I ask you, what are you thinking right now? What would you say? Honestly? Yes. I'd like to bring another woman into this relationship. <laughs> See, that's why you're sleeping on my couch right now. Yeah. See, women don't want to know what you think. They want to know what you feel. Uh-huh. Right? Hey, okay, let's role play. All okay. right. I'm Janice. Okay? I come home and go, hi, Bernard. I went shopping today. What do you think? I bought this dress. <laughs> I think you look real pretty today. Oh, today? What, yesterday I was a fat pig? Well, no, I didn't say that. Oh, no, I'm a liar. I can't do right by you, Bernard. Look, woman, when I come home, I have to be a little tired after a hard day of law enforcement. Law enforcement? <laughs> You're a security guard. You sit in a tiny-ass subcompact patrol car waiting on some alarm to go off. You make $2.50 an hour. You're not a security guard. You're All right, Damon, I don't want to play this game. Oh, not again. You come back here and deal with this, Mr. Man. Skills. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to talk about it. No, don't you walk out of it. Don't you walk out of it. Oh, hey, Damon. What? I came up with another angle. Look, I'm not having sex with you until you leave your boyfriend. I don't care what angle you come up with. I'm looking for uh, Captain Shiznanko. Who are you? The new guy. Oh. New guy! New guy! Oh. Fresh meat, oh. look at that. So what do they call you, new guy? Uh, Billy. Billy McCarthy. They call me, uh, Billy the Kid or Billy the Saint. You, know, you call me Big Billy, Kojak. <laughs> you know what? We got a new name for you. It's called Billy the Goat. <laughs> That's what we're gonna call you, Billy the Goat. Bye. I got it, I got it. You guys just sticking it to the new guy. That's cool, I'm down with that. <laughs> that, uh, Billy Goat thing, <laughs> that's just like a slam against me, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Word up! <laughs> so, uh, I'll just be at my desk. You got me, man. Billy, look out, he's got a gun! <laughs> I get it. <laughs> New guy stuff. Word up! <laughs> Hi, how are you? Fine. <clears throat> Boy, look at all those choices. Let me see. You got Costa Rican, Colombia Supremo, Kauai, Hawaii. You know what? I'll have a tea. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, officer? I'm not a cop. It's just what I thought. All right, everybody, stay where you are. Nobody gets hurt. Shut your face, toy cop! All right, boys, calm down. We can work our way through this situation. I know where you're at, son. You're both feeling disenfranchised. Believe me, I've been there. You're just having to pick the wrong place at the wrong time. I think it's only fair I warn you. I'm in home security. <laughs> but then again, we're not at home, so... You wanted to see me, Captain? Yeah, come on, sit down. I'm, uh about jumping back into the dating pool. <laughs> okay, I'll write up the memo. I'll spread the word. Now, wait a minute, Damon. I need your advice. As you know, it's been 10 years since my husband died. I thought you and Phil got divorced. It's just easier when I think of him as dead. Now, get on your captain for a second, okay? Tell me. As a man, how do you perceive me? Honestly, I, I guess, uh... Capable, strong, very determined, uh, tough, as tough as nails. You're describing Mike Ditka. Is that how I come across to you, Damon? Like Mike Ditka? I got a feminine side, you know. It's not as if I don't have the goods. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Uh, well, this thing is a little intimidating. <laughs> I don't do this for everybody. I'm just doing it to you so I can illustrate. Oh, I got it. 
Now, what else? Um... You might not want to do that. But I'm not doing that. What? Tell me, what else? Tell me. You need to soften up. Soften up. Hold on, let me write that down. Soften up. That's a good one. Soften up. Oh, son of a bitch. Pen when you need. Never mind, I got it. Soften up. Go ahead. Why don't you just work on the softening up? Yeah. I mean, yeah, just start there, because you got a lot yeah. of great quality. All right, all right, all right, I'll work. I mean, okay, all right, fun. get the hell out of here. Good, thank you, thank you. Hey, Damon, by the way, I'm pulling you off the Renuti case. Okay, fine, we blew it. You're right. Wait a minute. What kind of reverse psychology is that? You think you're going to pull one over on me? I'm giving you one week. Good, because we only needed three days. Good, because now you got two. That's even better. We only needed one. Get out of here. Can I describe them? Of course. I was looking right at them. There were two guys. Definite. Uh, one was tall. I think, you know, geez, it all happened so fast. <laughs> but they were Caucasian. Yeah. Uh, or Hispanic. You know, it could have been an Asian gang. <laughs> Maybe they were the albino Crips. <laughs> they do. Here comes a real cop in the family. You know what? I don't need your help. Oh, I can see that, Bernard B. Jones. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? Why didn't you let these guys rob the place? Oh, come on, Damon. You know, guys like me and you were never really off duty. <laughs> Bernard. These were real criminals with real guns, and they could have put a real big hole in your ass. What were you going to stop them with? A flashlight? A whistle? <laughs> they stole my whistle. All right, people, people, please. <laughs> Dr. Troy, continue. All right, here's the situation. I am Jimmy's boss, and I want Jimmy to sleep with me. Jimmy! And so I say to Jimmy, seductively, Jimmy, promotions don't come around very often. <laughs> to get along, you have to play along. Now, in his heightened state of arousal, what should Jimmy do? He should tap that ass. <laughs> people, people, no one should ever, ever be made to feel uncomfortable in the workplace. That's why there should be a pillow on every desk. Yeah! yeah. Step it up! Step it up! Dr. Troy. Look, you, you know what? You're taking all the fun out of the workplace. You know, there was a time 15 years ago, there was no such thing as sexual harassment. You know, it was just a bunch of people working together, cracking a few dirty jokes. That's it. That's right. <laughs> I would like to think that we have progressed. <laughs> well, we haven't. <laughs> Look, women are always going to have breasts, and men are always going to like looking at them. And if God didn't want them that way, he wouldn't have put them right up front in the middle like that. Well, in Damon world, that may be fine. But in the workplace, it is illegal, and you could be fired. I could be fired. Well, I, you know what? I'm confused because I don't know where the line is. Help me draw the line. Okay, let's say I'm Stacy's boss. I walk over and I say, hey, Stacy, you look really great today. Is that sexual harassment? No. Okay, if I lean in, I go, wow, the perfume smells really nice. Is that sexual harassment? That's very questionable. <laughs> now, what if she's standing at my desk, and I say, hey, Stacy, could you hand me that pen over there? Yeah, and I don't know what he's talking about, so I say, what do you mean, that pen? <laughs> <laughs> and of course she's pointing in the wrong direction, so I say, no, that one, right? <laughs> It. You mean the big black marker? <laughs> See, I'm not harassed. I'm aroused. <laughs> Captain. All right, everybody. Come on. Animals. 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 This is important stuff. This is for everybody's benefit. You're bombing, baby. Wrap it up. <laughs> All right. Let me just put it to you this way. What would you do if I said to you, you can't have a bigger office unless you pull down your pants. I'd say I'll take the corner office.
surface with a view. You know, I could use a better parking space. Hey, I need a three-week vacation. Because I'm your father, that's why. Don't let that boy talk to you like that. Ah, uh, no, no, no. You will not hang up on me. Don't let him hang you up. You will not hang. <laughs> he hung up. Michael hates me. He says I'm a terrible father. What does he know? He's 14 years old. I did everything there was to do for him. I mean, he was born. I was nurturing. I held him when he cried. I videotaped everything he did. His first walk, his first smile. See, that's where you went wrong. You videotaped all the cute stuff. See, me, when I have kids, I'm gonna videotape everything they do bad. Anything they do bad, I'm gonna put on videotape. So when they tell me you weren't a good father, I go, really? Well, you wasn't a good son. <laughs> See, then I'll put on the tape. And you sit down and be like, all right, now look at this. This is you when you peed in my face while I was changing your diaper. Okay, now look at this. This is you dipping my brand new suede shoes in the toilet. Just dip, 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 dip. Okay, now look at this. This is me and your mother in the bed. Boy, look at me go. You see how happy I am, huh? You see how happy you see my face? All right, now look who walk in. Uh -oh. That's you. See my face now? What are you talking about? You just wait. Pretty soon I'm going to be back home, then I'm going to reapply to the police academy, and then Michael will go to the best private school in Chicago. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, really, because that's part of my five-year plan. Oh, like the five-year plan to become an astronaut? I have an inner ear disorder. <laughs> what about the five-year plan to write the great American novel? With an inner ear disorder? <laughs> See, you just don't get it, do you? What's your five-year plan? To get rid of you. <laughs> Look, I don't have a plan, man. I just kind of go with the flow. Yeah, exactly, because everything just falls in your lap. Well, you know what, Damon? Some people need plans and a little support. What are you talking about? I support you. I let you stay in my house, you eat my food, I never complain. I give you money. I'm talking about in my career. Just forget about it. You want support in your career? What are you doing tomorrow night? Nothing. You wanna go on assignment with me? Really? Yeah, okay, I just need a witness. I don't want okay. you to say anything. Oh, I'm not gonna say anything. Don't do anything. I'm not gonna do a damn thing. <laughs> Don't touch anything. Oh, you know I'm not going to touch you. You touch it. Sorry. <laughs> Who is he? The little guy at the table. Right, right, right. right. Don't say anything. Okay, I'm not going to say nothing. Okay. okay, help Granddaddy get in the chair gently. All right, Granddad. Come <laughs> The name's Henry Livingston. I understand. You're the guy that talked to him about getting a little action. Hey, listen, get lost, old man. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay? Come on, the guy asked you a decent question. Can you show him a little respect? No! <laughs> what do you want? Well, let's be honest. I want to get... <laughs> Look, um, listen, I provide escorts. I can accommodate you with a date. That's all. A, a date? date? Mm -hmm. This man wants to get his fish wrapped. Kids today are very disrespectful. Listen. Even though I wouldn't mind sending the old salmon up the stream. <laughs> What I offer is companionship, okay? Companionship. And what that leads to is entirely up to you and your wallet. Ah, the wallet, mm -hmm. huh? So you know what? I've got about a thousand smack of here. Well? And I was wondering what that might be. Well, for a thousand bucks, I can uh, get a woman to do you all weekend. Huh? Uh -huh. Will she taste my salad? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? For a thousand dollars, 
she can taste mine, too. <laughs> you just say the word. Say the word and she'll do it. <laughs> say the word. Say the word. Say the word is you're under arrest. What are you guys, cops? No, I'm a cop. And I'm home security. <laughs> Should have been there. Yes, a real bust. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't carrying a gun. Yeah, I'm gonna fill you in under details later. Oh, tell your mother I got shot in the foot. Call me back. Tell me what she says. Again. All right. Man, what a great night. I don't know how to thank you. You did. You did. You did a great job. Man, how do you come down from this adrenaline high? <sighs> you know what happens? Sleep will hit you, and you'll be out like a light. No, I'm not gonna go to sleep. <laughs> It's just a taser. They gave it to me at work. I know, but you can get hurt. <sighs> you don't not, mess with those things. I'm not stupid. It comes with a 10-minute instructional video. <laughs> Congratulations on the purchase of your new taser. Remember, your taser is not a toy. It is a dangerous weapon. <laughs> <laughs>